I don't lose anything. Hey, Neil Bailey here. Thanks for following us on the Dime City Cycle Iron and Air Triumph Giveaway Project Bike. Here's the third video in the series, so check out what Jason and Herm are up to and stay tuned for more information. On these controls, let's just screw these back in because these get lost really easy. The easiest way to do this is just when we release these, I can just tip the bars. That way we don't even have to take apart this throttle assembly, which is great. Because if we're gonna change this grip out, all we do is slide the grip off. So I'll wait. Some of this stuff, let's just leave it, I guess. That way it doesn't get lost. Yeah. Um, you just take these small eight mils yeah, off. Come off. Cups come off. All right, so I got those eight millimeters off. This, the gauge cup just comes out. So I know we're gonna use this Speedo, but I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect it and just get it out of the way for now. Before I break it. Nice, dude. Those are you. I like it. The so are good. If only a beer magically appeared to the left of me. Oh man, that's awesome. Did you see that? Did a beer just appear? <laughs> We're not going to use these these headlight ears. We're, We're not, not going to use the blinkers. We're not. We're not going. The ignition's going to get relocated. Yep. So why don't we just remove the top triple tree, pull these whole things off? We're just loosening up the top clamp here, right? Taking off that center bolt. Uh, she should pop right up. Holy shit! That wasn't tight at all. Damn, dude. I'll pull up if you just, there you go. Right cutting it on, there we go. We gotta save these rubber grommets. Right, so our, our ears use the grommets. They are to spec exactly yep. what this is, right? So yep. we'll use these, we'll put it right back on the forks. Yep. And we'll pull these um, stock free load spacers yeah, out. Yeah, that'll help get the spring. There you go. Washer. Okay, it's gonna be messy. We got our fork oil tool in here. Um, we got it set to 120 millimeters below. Perm, go ahead and draw out with the syringe slowly. switch out the standard Bonneville cap with these Thruxton preload adjustable caps. Our preload spacer cut. Very important though, you want to take this and you want to clean it um, with uh, Bright Cleaner or even WD-40, something like that, because any of these plastic particulate that's on there, it gets inside your suspension, that's uh, no bueno. We're gonna drop that in the fork hole there. You can see it just sits a little bit above, so we're gonna have to raise the bike up some more. But the idea here is, is that we take our washer, not a washer, a solid plate, right? And that goes on there, and then 
the preload cap pushes on that. So we got all our headlight wires in. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove our regulator rectifier unit. Uh, we have a really nice relocator from British Custom. Nice relocation kit. This is all one piece, it's welded on, it's a gauge cup, and then that accepts one of our 1.9 inch tachometers. Watching. If you haven't registered already, head on over to ironandair.com forward slash triumph giveaway and register to win this kick ass cafe race bonnet. And if you get a chance while you're signing up, head on over to Wellspring International Outreach, check out what I'm doing with my foundation in Peru, and if you can, make a donation.